Hi, this video is brought to you by techdirectarchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to scan WordPress website with WP Scan for security vulnerabilities. Um, WordPress is a free content management system that you can easily use to quickly uh, build a uh, world class website. We have over 60% of websites online that were built with uh, WordPress, but we also have reports of uh, security vulnerabilities on these uh, WordPress websites. And that is why we need a very good tool to scan for security vulnerabilities on these uh, uh, WordPress uh, website. And one of such tools is WP Scan, which you can quickly use to scan for this vulnerability. And it will display all those um, security issues, vulnerability, and you can quickly remediate it. So um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that on the Kali environment and also using uh, a Docker. So I'll be going into my Kali environment now. So let me log in. So once you are here, um, we need to install that um, WP scan. I already did that, but in case you don't have it, um, you just need to enter this command. Let me see. If I think I still have it. Just enter. Let me just enter it. Uh, apt install WP scan. So this is it. This is what you need to uh, the command you need to use. I already have it, so I'm not going to run this command. So that's the command. So um, let me just show you. Where I have it, so WP. So this is it here. I already installed it. So let me open it now. So it's coming. I'm going to open it. Let me launch. Okay. All right. So I already I already installed it. So what I just need to do now is uh to launch it together with um, the URL of the WordPress uh, website that I need to scan. So let me just enter this command since I already ins installed it on my system. WP scan dash dash URL, then you enter the URL you want to scan. That's for the web, the WordPress website. So just enter. Let me just use. Let me use this. Let's scan now. So it's launching your WP scan now. So now it's asking whether I need to update. I'm not updating for now. So, I'm not updating the, way, uh, the database, so it's going to start the scanning now. So, started. So, it's starting. So, I'm going to pause this video now, then come back to show you the scan. So um, the scan has completed now and you can see the scan report displayed on the screen. So, but you actually also, you need a, an API token for the re 
result, the vulnerability data to be for you to get the output. So for you to get this uh, API token, you need to go to wpscan.com and register. So, but that aside, you can still check the screen. You can still check. Let me just try and scroll up. Yes, like I'm not getting my screen is on again. Okay. So let me try and scroll up now. Okay, fine. So you can see the report or the results generated on the screen. So you can pick one or two things. So this um, WP scan is very good for reconnaissance. In case you want to know how to um, hack a website or how to enter um, a system in a very bad way, so the WP scan can give you some information in respect to the system, the website. So it's a very good tool. Um, you can use it for a good purpose. You can also use it for a bad purpose. So, but what we are checking right now is the good side of it. Checking where we have uh, any security vulnerabilities. So, in, immediately you s you get that out, then you can quickly close it. You can uh, remedy it. So that is that using um, this Kali. So um, using the Docker, you need to install your docker I have that installed using docker desktop then you also need um, to pull the image you are going to use you need um, a command which is a um, docker pull so let me just um, let me enter. So on the PowerShell, I'm going to enter the command. You can see I already have it here, but let me just display it on the PowerShell. So let me let me use Sadmi. So sometimes I need to run it as admin. So um, so just to run. This is the main um, main command that you need to run to scan the website. But before then, you need to uh, pull the WP scan docker image. So let me. This is the command you are going to use docker pull WP scan team slash WP scan. So this is the command you are going to use in case you don't have this image already pull to your docker desktop so once you once you use this um, this command here then you'll be able to see the image pull into your docker desktop so and once that is done then you are good to go so you can run using the docker to run the wp scan using these uh, this command here so you just you need to enter the wordpress website here and you hit enter that's all you are good to go so it will start running now just the same way we did on the kali environment so just still asking just enter no
Let me about it. So let's run it again. So you should start scanning now. So let me just enter now. So you should start any moment from now to scan. So starting now. Once it's done, I'm going to pause the video now. Once it's done, I'll also display my screen to show you the scan results. So um, now the scan is done. We can see, or you can see the um, results display on the screen. So you just need to pick one or two things on what you need to work on. In case you see any security vulnerability, you pick it up, you quickly remediate it, and you are good to go. So this uh, WP scan is is very good. It's a very good tool in um, uh, counteracting um, any security issues that you may find on your WordPress uh, website. So try and make use of it in case you are using WordPress as your CMS in creating a website. So um, I think you enjoy this video and uh, thank you for watching.